What is going on guys, Gepsito here, bringing you a League of Legends commentary, and today I am playing Trindamir top, and it's a little bit unusual, I don't play Trindamir a lot because he's quite a noob champ, no, I'm just kidding, but it's a ranked game, and I have a skin for him, look at that big crit that I get right there, really lucky for first blood, that's the thing with Trindamir, you could really be, uh, you could be really, really useless, uh, because he's squishy as fuck or you can be um, awesome if you play versus like Renekton or something that's good early game you will get wrecked so but something like Singed who you know he's not that good at the early four levels I guess Shaco's gonna come in for a gank and I am gonna be able to pick up the second kill right there so that's really nice getting ahead five minutes and two kills awesome um i don't play tournament that much but as you can see i have a skin that i got in a mystery gift uh and i figured if i got a skin i gotta start playing him so uh he's actually he's actually really really good to carry with if you know how to how to do um sis is gonna fling me over right there I don't have my E unfortunately here, so I can't spinning slash and kill him, but uh, I'm gonna die instead. That sucks. Um, so I'm actually, he's gonna be a little bit greedy after that kill. I'm gonna be able to teleport back up. He doesn't know that I have teleport probably, and I have my BF sword right now, so that is gonna be a pretty easy kill. He's gonna fling me. Uh, no, it's actually not gonna be a kill. He's gonna flash away. I forgot that, unfortunately. Um, but as I said, Trinomir is a really good champ. If you know how to play him, you can carry ranked up to like uh, Platinum, Elo, probably in higher than that too, but at least around gold. I'm gold 5, I think, right now. Uh, and this gameplay is a few weeks old, I think. Uh, but I think it was gold 5 when I had, when I got this gameplay. However, uh, he's really good for carrying if you know how to do. You want to go full full split push with Trinomir. Um, no team fighting at all, really, uh, because he's a great split pusher. Here's, here's the tactic you want to use. Tactic you want to use. You split push all game. <laughs> Your team goes uh, four versus five. Um, and a champion like Sigs or something would be good with that because uh, he's good he's really good in team fights he can poke people and you know he can win a 4v5 team fight if you have to um but you want to tell your team so they know that i'm actually gonna get a kill here i think he's gonna fling me over same situation but he doesn't have flash so i'm gonna flash after him get the kill and survive uh, but you want to split push all game. They got five versus four. You want to tell your team play cautious. Don't go in um, if you don't have a big opportunity. Uh, you just split push. You get a turret. You get an inhibitor. If they don't come after you, you'll get like an inhibitor, and that's definitely worth it. Even if you lose the team fight, they don't even have to engage. They can just stay under turret, and they might win that team fight under turret if they decide to dive. But uh, just tell your team to play safe and you can get objectives uh, while split pushing. Uh, if someone comes to kill you um, wh while you're split pushing, that's a 4v4 and that means uh, it's equal on both sides. Uh, and then you can join your team or whatever, you can wait for that guy to go out of lane or you can kill him because Trinomir is really really good in 1v1s. So imagine someone coming for you when you split push and your team playing 4v4, that's an equal team fight for both teams. Um, you kill the guy in top lane and you keep pushing. What do they have for a choice? I mean, they can come after you, use another uh, guy to come after you, and that's a 4v3 for your team, uh, which is even easier. So uh, that's really nice. And if they choose to come two people, you can pretty much just run away because Trinomir has a lot of good ex escapes. Uh, you're gonna be buying uh, 
the uh, Static Shiv or the Phantom Dancer or both if you want to. I think I do that this game. That's gonna give you huge movement speed uh, and make you escape pretty much everything. And with your E you can escape even e e more easily. Uh, a slot or along with your ult which is also good for escaping. Amazar is gonna use his ult right there which is kind of a waste but whatever. So true number split pushing, it's it's a tactic you gotta you you gotta practice it I guess. Um, but it it will definitely work. I saw this in a game uh, where a guy he was really good true number player and he was just split pushing all game and we were winning the team fights, you know, we were better than them and playing much better. But thanks to true number he managed to push an inhibitor at top, an inhibitor at bot, while we were just, you know, team fighting and stuff and killing them. But that doesn't matter because he got all the objectives and then they turned the game because they had so much, so many super minions and stuff. And that's when I realized this Trindamer champ might be really, really good for carrying ranked. So six is gonna get a little bit unfortunate here. I'm gonna be able to use my W right before he leaves the ground with his jump. I'm gonna go after him with, with my E and kill him. Uh, so along comes Leona. Uh, she's gonna turn on me right here. Someone is teleporting and she's gonna use an ult but I'm gonna ult at the same time uh, and then be able to E away. But look at this greedy sin cinch right here. Braum is gonna leave him there chasing me and he's gonna flash and fling me all I have to do is try to last hit my uh, health back up uh, because his poison is going to kill me otherwise. But unfortunately, I die anyway. So I'm skipping ahead a little bit in the game. A mad pedo bear is going to come after us and he's not going to give up. I mean, he's going down pretty fast, even if he's tanky, and he flashes after thinking that he can get a kill or something or do anything, but we just kill him off. And that's gonna be a double kill for me. I haven't used my ultimate yet, but I'm gonna do that. Uh, no, I'm actually not gonna have to do that. Jinx is gonna do a great ult, and that's gonna be a kill. Uh, we're gonna start pushing for the mid turn, spotting Singed in a brush on a ward, and we're gonna kill him. I'm gonna get the kill. So, Trinity is a really, really good late game. As you can see, I already I got the Infinity Edge early. Um, items that you want to buy on turn rear is you want to get a lot of crit your passive makes you crit really well uh, but extra crit infinity edge is definitely a must-have because it makes your crits do even more damage um, so infinity edge uh, another great item is the blade of the ruined king uh, fan I mean, uh, you could get Bloodthirster, but I don't really think that's worth it. You, you're mostly going to be able, to, or you're mostly going to use your auto attacks, and that slow is actually pretty good as well. Uh, so Infinity Edge, Blade of the Ruined, uh, then Static Shave or something. I don't have that item yet, but I, I have around 4,000 gold. Look at that! He just flashes and he's like one kilometer away. I, I don't even know how that works, but whatever. Uh, I'm gonna see what I buy here. I buy the static shiv. You should probably. Oops. I fucked up my mic here. Wait. I'm actually gonna sell the static or redo the static shiv buy and get a phantom dancer instead because static shiv is better to get early because of that uh, thing that gives you gold, average blade, or whatever it's called. Uh, look at that big crit I do on Caitlyn right there, killing him in one big hit. Um, and yeah, so Phantom Dancer, Infinity Edge, Blade of the Ruined, Attack Speed Boots, then a Last Whisper is nice, uh, and then a last item you could get like a Guardian Angel for complete, um, you know, invulnerability or not being able to die. I don't even know what that word is, whatever. But you, 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 really, you really can't die if you have a Guardian Angel and your ult. If they focus you, your team is going to be able to um, kill them pretty fast. Look at this, Six. He's going to throw a bomb, and I'm going to turn around. 
Riot is gonna fuck up on me. I didn't even click in that direction. I was walking in the other other direction and suddenly it just turned. Stupid. Rito, please. Um. So I'm gonna keep pushing top a little bit. Since this is also a split pusher, and uh, that's a bit annoying. If you're gonna try to split push, you want someone that uh, doesn't split push. Uh, back uh, and keeps you know messing the split push up you want to have the enemy team you want them to go um, uh, together while you just split push so I'm gonna earlier there as you could s probably see I tried to solo Baron but my team wouldn't let me they helped me out in the last second but I would have been able to do it definitely if they just let me finish it but whatever. That would have been my first solo Baron in ranked. <laughs> I'm actually pretty sad right now. So I'm gonna push. Or we're gonna push for the top inhibitor. Get the Nexus turret. And um, I'm gonna try. We're gonna turn around here. Back around. We're gonna turn back around. And... Uh, kill his Volibear and then I'm gonna chase Cinched. Bad idea. Chase Cinched. Don't chase Cinched. He's gonna fling me right here. I'm gonna ult, but it doesn't work under spawn turrets. So, or, uh, yeah, spawn pool turrets. So, I'm gonna die, unfortunately. Uh, but that's gonna be the game anyway, and that's gonna be a victory for us. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, and I'll see you in the next video, which we're probably be a uh, you choose I play I think I haven't done that in a while I haven't done videos in a while either but I'm sorry guys bye peace <laughs>